I have been so busy. Hello, are we on? Okay. <laughs> just ended and I'm off for Christmas break now. You may be wondering, what have I come back with? I'm sure it'll be something thrilling and exciting. It's another Ringling video. Today we're gonna talk about Ringling portfolios. I believe their requirements have changed a little bit since I submitted my portfolio two years ago. I'm going to talk about the film portfolio a lot because that's what I have examples of because that is my major. My brother was also in game art and I have a couple of things that he submitted with his portfolio so I'll be showing those too. Here we go. I was trying to gear mine very towards film and what I have done with a camera previously to going to Ringling. I look back now and they're kind of crap, but I digress. When I was applying to Ringling for film, at the time, they didn't require photography or film, which I thought was kind of weird because they said like, you don't even have to know how to use a camera, but why would you be going into film if you didn't know how to use a camera? So on the website, it says that you can incorporate any sorts of design projects, illustration, animation, photography, film, video, multimedia projects, paintings, drawings, sketches from observation. And then as writing samples, you can do tell us a story, who you are and what you love to do, write about a performing arts experience, or if you're a writer, give samples. I would say try to do as much camera stuff as you can, but have a variety of work because like they say on the website, Film is kind of all the arts in one. I included photography, but what I did is included photo essays. So I had a series of photos that sort of told a story because I thought that it would make more sense for this department just because we focus on story so much. One of like some flowers and I had one of my friend blowing bubbles. To be honest, I look back at them now and they're not that great, but that's okay. Still got in, right? Right? I had taken art classes in high school, like traditional art classes where it was drawing and painting and things like that. So I included some of that. I included like a self portrait. I personally hadn't done that much drawing from life, so I didn't include that many, but they didn't care for film, so whatever. So I included sketches of all sorts of stuff. I did, I mean, I'm weird. I did sketches of people live streaming. I did concept sketches and stuff like that. And then I also included a couple of my films. I didn't do any ones that were like super long and I only put two or three in, I think. I'm not 100% sure which ones I put in. Okay, I don't recommend this, but a bunch of my old videos are like basically what I included in my portfolio. So if you wanna go back and look at those for an example, I mean, that might help, I don't know. They weren't very good, so. <laughs> And then also what I think helped a lot is I included a screenplay that I had written before. I didn't put the whole thing, but I put two pages of a screenplay that I had written. I feel like including a screenplay is a really good idea, but if you haven't written a screenplay before, that's okay. You can do one of the other things they say on the site. I am going to talk about the game art portfolio which also is CA and illustration. Be sure to show lots of examples of drawing from life and direct observations such as hands, feet, human figures, and animals, representational drawing, interior and or exterior environments. And you can also include class assignments and design projects, animation, multimedia, paintings, photographs, sculptures, film, and video. My brother just graduated from Game Art earlier this year. Quote from my brother, I think the best things that you should include would be figure drawings, still life drawings, drawings from nature, and drawings involving perspectives such as buildings, showing some custom design projects such as animations, sculptures, or graphic design is good too, but I think they ideally want at least half of the items to be work created from directly observing something. So in my brother's 
game art portfolio. He did a really giant like 3D model of a city. He did a self-portrait. He made a little sculpture of a robot that's sort of like a character design kind of thing. And he also had an animation. And I believe he also had some still lives and things like that. So these are some examples of figure drawing that I did while I was at Ringling. But this is, and so these are really bad examples too because I'm a film student. For the CA game art and illustration portfolio, I really can't stress enough to do as much drawing and stuff from observation as you can. Still lives and figure drawing especially and perspective drawing all are really good. If you're trying to prepare for the portfolio now and you haven't done any of those things, I do recommend doing that. Even if you can't take an art class, you can do these things on your own. If you want to draw a building, you can sit outside your house and draw your house. That might help. If you haven't done any figure drawing, because I know a lot of people haven't in a normal high school, they usually don't have figure drawing classes. If you have a community art center in your town, which most, I think most towns do, then you can go to your community art center and they will probably have figure drawing classes. I would highly recommend that. Also, if you can go to pre-college at Ringling, I heard that it helps a lot. I didn't go to pre-college and my brother didn't go to pre-college. I heard that it helps a ton with your portfolio and I think it also helps you get scholarships. One thing I can say about the portfolios in general, whatever major that you're trying to apply for, gear your portfolio to that major. So film, obviously, I would say include films if you can. And if you're doing photos, a lot of the time it helps if they're very story driven or if they're very cinematic in nature. If you're applying to like game art or CA, then you're probably gonna wanna include an animation or even if you've done something in a game engine before, that would help, I'm sure. I know a lot of people have included things from their sketchbook or if you art journal, things from their art journal helps, especially in illustration. The advice that I would give is pick things that fit the requirements really well, but also show who you are as an artist. If you have a really strong style and a really strong sort of identity as an artist, I feel like it helps a lot. Try to do as much work as you can so that you have a lot to choose from when you're actually making your portfolio. You do have to have a certain amount of stuff because they like to see a variety of work. If you're really not sure about the portfolio, I know that Ringling does have portfolio review days where they'll look at your portfolio and kind of like tell you what you can improve on. I think that's about it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. If I can't, please ask admissions because they'll be able to help you a lot more than me. Their email is admissions at ringling.edu. If you have any other questions about the school in general, also ask me in the comments. I'm always typing away trying to answer your questions. I'm gonna be doing some stuff for Christmas. Look forward to that. More videos will be coming. Subscribe. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope I helped you a little bit. See you next time, or just bye if you don't watch any more videos. Bye! And just levitate.